Hey guys, I'm back. Um, feeling better. Um, still have a little bit of sinus issues, but it's not good. Good enough for reviews. And so we're going to continue um, part three of the uh, Vape More reviews. Um, so, without further ado, I got. Uh, let's see which way is it. This way. Cool customer. And. Tropical tort. Let's see. What are the ratios? Okay, cool customer. Let's start with. Ow. Start with that one. The VG PG ratio is 77. 23, which is kind of interesting. It's not, it's not really standard. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool. I can dig that. Um, so in, by now, obviously these juices are, uh, <laughs> plenty steeped. So. Oh, wow. It's kind of like a like a peppermint patty or a thin mint or it's definitely chocolate and mint. <laughs> I, mean, oh, I actually oh of course something always has to mess up, but that's what makes me me because. I mess stuff up, I drop things, I break things. That is the fun part of life. I guess. Um, I just put new wicking in these. So let me just kind of... Get these soaked up. As a bit higher VG than I'm normally used to, um, so I decided to put it on the Derringer um, because of the build I have in it. it is more for flavor the vapor so maybe they'll kind of even things out a little bit there Let's see dopo 70 watts 0.5 ohms That is definitely minty and chocolatey. It tastes like a thin mint. It smells more like a pet or like those peppermint patty things. You know what? Are those little candy. I don't know what they're called. See, that's, that's a lot of vapor for this build. I, I'm happy with that. <laughs> As you can see, it's coming out of my nose better on one side than it is on the other. But we're getting there. We are getting there. That is... I'm not normally a chocolate vape person because chocolate's one of those flavors that's really hard to get right without like being like Tootsie Rollish or you know the <laughs> the um the common standard chocolate flavor that a lot of um people use um but this is this one's nice. It's 
got just the right amount of sweetness to it. Um, and that is actually pretty good. I, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie about that. Um, It kind of almost reminds me of, um, like, mint chocolate chip ice cream that you've, like, had in the bowl and it's, like, melted and it's just starting to get warm, you know what I mean? It's, I kind of get that from it. That's pretty nice. Um, see, Cool Customer stays true to its flavor profile at every wattage and temperature we've vaped it at. Um, so, I already took it off to and get ready for the next flavor, but let's bump it up and see what happens. So, 12 watts. Um, the fla flavors are kind of starting to mellow out a little bit. Um, they're not as in your face. Um, <laughs> it's probably stop blowing it right into the camera. Oh, look what I did! Okay. Um. Like, I don't know if that's normal. I don't know. Cause normally I vape I at low wattages unless I'm doing like a couple of puffs on the review. Um, never mind the man behind the curtain. No, I'm just kidding. There's no man back there. Um, but um, like, I don't know if flavors like mellow out at higher wattages. It's like that like normal. Um, but I guess it kind of gives you an idea, like, if you want a more, like, in-your-face flavor with this flavor, um, do a lower wattage. And if you want a more, like, um, mellow, do a higher wattage. Like, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that's, like, new information for anybody. Probably not. I'm kind of slow in the game here, but... I talk about what I know and what I'm figuring out with you guys, so it is what it is. Alright, that is clean. Just double checking. Alright, so Tropical Tort is a 72V 28PG. Um, see, it's got a nice caramely color to it. Um, oh, these are all at um, 0.4 mg. It doesn't really have much of a flavor. I mean, <laughs> much of a smell. It's a very subtle smell. Um, I can't really pinpoint what it is, so let's find out. That was probably too much, but oh well. That's still at 12. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, 
time. I really don't know what the weavers are. Sorry, <laughs> I need to quit blowing it right at the camera. Um. I really can't figure this one out. Um, it's fairly sweet. Uh, now that I've warmed it up a bit, there's a light hit of hint of uh, like citrus to it. Where'd, where'd my drip tip go? There it is. Ah. This one is a really tough one to figure out. Um, Like, um, <laughs> like, uh, really? like, 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 oh my gosh, um, I know it's, um, like, a really, like, big thing, the, uh, <clears throat> like, Tortuga rum cakes, um, Apparently it's like pretty like popular thing. Um, it's almost kind of like that without the banana and rum. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I mean, that's like the closest thing I could think of. Uh, without actually being able to pick out the flavors, because I, I can't say it's like, I don't know, it's crazy. Oops, I wanted to shut off. Um, man, that one's going to bug me. <laughs> uh, let's see what the website says. Tropical tort isn't a flavor that's easy to forget, but just try to describe it to someone. I know. Like, I can't, I can't figure it out. Um, it's a delicate blend of creams and fruits with a touch of pastry. Okay. While it's difficult to pick out part when you want flavor, you'll notice subtle hints of citrus that balance out the sweetness. Okay, that's pretty spot on to the <laughs> description because uh, I have no idea what's in this but it's pretty good um, man that's crazy Yeah, like people are saying, I don't know what this is, but it's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's tropical tort. <laughs> don't know what it is, but it's pretty good. Um, <laughs> um, I think we got one more 
review set to do and that's gonna be it for vape more um but uh, i guess uh, <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and end it here i'll uh see you guys in the next video